Hello again. It's been a while. And that has its reasons. Mostly, I didn't actually do anything the entire time. Call it some kind of blockage from drawing. Call it sheer laziness. The point is, I've done nothing. But in doing nothing, I've learned something. Because in the time that I had to think about my life choices, I looked at some of the old art I made, or, well, not art, just the old exercises I used to do. And to clarify by old, I mean about six months, six to seven months ago. Because that's when I chose to actually pursue some kind of artistic skills. Or in other words, that's when I chose to actively improve my drawing skills. Now, what you're seeing in the background are these drawings. The drawings I looked at and the time lapses I obviously also looked at. Fortunately, I did them in Procreate and Procreate always saves these time lapses like nothing else and it's just nice. Anyway, the thing I've learned is that I have improved quite a bit. I wouldn't say I have improved as much as some other people did in like in the span of six months because you could do more than I did all right I procrastinated at least half of these six months like three months are wasted but procrastinating and just not doing anything is also part of well the learning process at least that's what I'm telling myself to feel a little better now lately I've not been motivated to draw as much as in previous times but once i saw how much i actually could improve by not actually committing a hundred percent to improving that gave me quite the boost just seeing that i've improved i've improved by just drawing having fun and not having to draw every day, having to do it some kind of like as some kind of work thing or as some kind of ritual I have to do every week or every time before I go to bed, you know, just I did it for fun. I drew because I wanted to draw and I had fun. And personally, I think that also helped quite a lot in learning something because if something brings you joy you automatically want to do it more and your brain is just gonna keep more of the information if you like it plus i am quite certain that if i would have done more i could have improved a little more but not too much all right like i'm i'm not an ace at art i'm not someone you know some kind of prodigy I can't draw sometimes. Sometimes I am the worst guy to talk to when it's about drawing, when it's about any kind of artistic skill. Sometimes I just have like two left hands. And to all that, I'm not a very fast learner. If I want to learn something, I mostly like, I mostly commit something, you know, I, I'd like to learn something properly so I can do it right, so I can do it good. But with art, it just takes so long that it seems almost impossible. Now, if it was impossible, then I'm sure I wouldn't be here at the moment. And I'm sure lots of artists wouldn't be artists, right? If you would have to be born a certain way to pursue some kind of artistic skill to become good at drawing, in my case, then quite a lot of people wouldn't be drawing right now. And what I wanted to say is that even if I would have forced myself to draw more in this six months of time that have passed now, I wouldn't have improved that much more. Surely there would be more improvement than there is right now. I'm quite certain of that. But I wouldn't have improved that much more that I would say, oh yeah, it would have been worth it to just bear with it and draw every single second I have free time just to become better. Because I think there's only so much you will learn at a day. 
like you have some kind of specific limit of things that you learn or a time limit where you can like get stuff into your brain and that gets actually processed and everything else everything that comes after this limit it just gets thrown away i don't know at least that's the way i think it is with me and maybe some people have like a higher limit some people have a lower limit who knows i sure don't but it doesn't matter but that doesn't matter because as long as one pursues what they want there's only improvement to be made especially in something like art something like drawing there is no way in hell i would think that somebody could draw something you know draw a few other things and then come back to the first thing they wanted to do redo it and then be worse at it i think drawing is something every time you do it every time you think about it you improve even if it's just the slightest bit you're gonna improve every single time and one of the most crucial parts is to never compare yourself to others and their improvement you don't know how much they do to get the kind of improvement they get and you also don't know how much they have already done or learned you know the only one you should compare yourself to is your former self and that's what i did and i'm gonna say it it worked wonders okay i've I haven't drawn in two weeks straight and I'm gonna say I've looked at my old art and I, I feel like hell hell yeah I, I could draw right now I could draw something right now now I don't have time but if I had I'd be drawing and that's what I'm gonna do tomorrow without procrastination in mind and with these words of encouragement to just you know compare yourself to your former self and nobody else i'd like to say goodbye and whatever it is you do just keep on improving i don't know could be cooking could be i don't know crafting or some kind of stuff i have no idea about just do it you're only gonna improve and have fun goodbye